Okay, let's yeah. see if this is Okay. Hi, I'm not sure um, how this works. I've only used, well, I've never used live before. Um, I am happy to be doing worship and I'm hoping my computer will be um, will be all okay with this. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to pray and um, just ask for his presence to be with us. So God, I just thank you for giving me this time to lead worship um, and giving us this time to get together over Facebook in the middle of um, all of our being apart. God, I just ask that your peace would fill all the hearts who are watching and in the room. And God, I just pray that you would move, that you would be the one who speaks tonight and that your blessing would be on all of us. <laughs> You are my fair one. 
heaven and earth are singing holy, holy. Lord God actually um, have a song that I've been tinkering with on my own in prayer. Um, and I've read Psalm 8 a lot. Um, and it's just fascinated with me. Or it's fascinated me. Um, and I've just talk to him about some lyrics that have come to me, so I'd actually like to play some of that. <laughs>
I've conquered my grave when I consider that you've paid for my shame when I consider that you're calling my name I'm on my knees again when I consider such a crazy um, <laughs> such a crazy few weeks and in the middle of all the being stuck at home and um, not really being sure what life is going to look like for a while um, I've talked to the Lord a lot and I've just realized how much I've needed his comfort in it all security that only he could give any of us and in the last few years he's talked to me so much about how kind he is and how gentle he is and how loving he is and um, it's just stood out to me that he's always sitting there with us no matter what we're talking about no matter what we're thinking about no He's watching, um, and he cares what we're thinking about. It actually delights in those moments when we come to him to tell him what's on our mind. And even if it's something as silly as like a nightmare that you had <laughs> last night, I I actually ended up being awake at four in the morning and didn't get back to sleep. So I'm kind of spacey. <laughs> And my voice is tired, and I'm just like, ah, it's crazy that I'm even doing this right now. <laughs> um, but I just realized even at midnight and at four in the morning when I found myself up just because of irrational fears that had nothing to do with what's going on right now. It was just crazy, random dreams. He was there to talk to me about them, and he didn't think that was funny that I needed his comfort in those situations or that I was really desperate for someone to talk to um, about something that I knew was only a dream and how much more is he here to listen when we need to talk to him about things that are very real like um, stress over income right now or 
schooling right now. My family has it lucky because we've been homeschooling all our lives, but there's a lot of people who don't have that kind of solid ground to build on top of homeschooling. And God, I just want to pray for your peace and for your comfort in all those ways that you're so willing to give it. That you would just come and be our rest and our strength and our rock when everything else seems like it's shifting under our feet. You're here to hold on to us when we're ready to let go of our hope. our strength when we have none, and I just pray that you would show us that side of you that's so gentle and caring in a whole new way um, in these next few weeks, whatever they look like, and I thank you for the way that we've been able to stay connected um, on Facebook. I've just felt such a unity in our church. I'm pretty sure everybody's felt it because it's so clear and I just absolutely love that we haven't lost touch with each other. We've been here to talk to each other and um, to encourage each other in the middle of this and to just discuss what he has for us in this season that's so crazy and I just, God, I thank you for that, that you knit us together into such a solid family that you really have united us by your spirit.
Of all the songs, of course, the one I threw on the floor because I thought I wouldn't use it. <laughs> i 
God, I just thank you. I thank you so much for your presence and for your kindness, your peace that surpasses all our understanding. Thank you for blessing this church, and I pray that you would help us to reach out and bless others outside of this church, especially now. God, I thank you for your grace with all of us, and especially with me, <laughs> especially today. Um, I'm just so touched by everything you do for us, Lord. And thank you.
thank you everybody who joined me. And I just ask him for his blessing over all of you. And um, I was really happy to do this and hopefully we'll do it again soon. <laughs>